guys welcome to tutorial number 23 on SolidWorks and in this tutorial we'll be learning about a new command called swept boss base as you can see here this command so we'll make a sketch and and let's see how this command actually works so we'll make a sketch on on a, on a front plane we'll make a circle here a normal circle we get out of this sketch and on the top plane We'll do a sketch and click on normal too. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use spline here. Spline and here. Press escape. Get out of this sketch. As you can see, the line is in coincident with the. I mean, the spline is in coincident relation with the circle. So it is in contact with the circle. And now we'll go to swept boss base. So here it says to select the profile. The profile is the circle here. Select the circle as a profile. We'll select the circle as a profile. And it says we have to select the path. And we'll make this profile follow this path. I select this one and as you can see. This circle follows this path. And in options we can do some changes as you can see we can we can also add some twist so here you can see twist along the path we do that and it says degrees let's say turns so we will make number of turns as you can see three four five these are the turns you can add turns you can twist it around It cannot take 10 turns so I have to reduce it 9 it can take 9 turns I click OK there you go you can see the twist and turns looks beautiful and now we know how to use this command so using that command we are going to draw this thing here so let's start drawing it don't save. If you take a look at the figure here, it says the this this is the this is the path of the the pipe here, and we have to draw the profile using that. So what we'll do is we will draw the path first using uh, using front plane, and let's go make a sketch here on front plane. Make a sketch and. Here you can see there is a vertical line, then there is arc, and there is horizontal line. So we can go to this horizontal line, click here, go forward, we come backward, and then we get an arc here. There you can see. We don't have to go to the arc command to draw the arc. So as you can see, we get that, and we'll draw a vertical line here. We press escape button to get out of the command and we start to provide dimension here so the distance from the origin here is 80 select the origin select this line make it 80 select the origin select this line make it 80 and the radius here is 60 of this arc select this arc make it 60 60 Okay. Now you can see the ends are still blue. We'll select this end here, hold control and select the origin. Provide a vertical relation here. Make vertical. We do the same, but we'll do a vertical uh, horizontal relation. Select the origin, hold control button and select this point here and make it horizontal. As you can see, it has gone fully defined. We get out of the sketch. And using the right plane, we will draw the circle. We will select the right plane, right click here, make a sketch, click on normal tool. And we will go to circle here. And the diameter of the circle is 40. We will make it 4, 0. And select the center here, 
hold control button and select this end here make it coincident get out of the sketch we have got the profile and the path now we can go to swept command here it says you have to select the profile select the profile and here's the path you will select this path and you can see the pipe is hollow actually so we'll go to the thin command and provide thin features so we'll check this little box right here and the thickness here you can see is four millimeters four so we'll make it four here and you can change the direction in fact inwards or outwards so actually we'll use outwards click OK there you go and using this surface we will draw these two joints so you can see these two joints so we'll select this surface make a sketch click on normal tool and we'll go to center I mean circle we'll draw a circle provide the dimension diameter is 80 and select it and select the circle hold control and select this circle here and make it concentric there you can see as we will uh, have we have to make this thing hollow so we will make uh, instead of making circle here we'll use this edge this circle here to draw a circle using the convert entities select this thing here click on convert entities as you can see it provides a circle to this surface and we will go to features extrude here you can see the extrusion is total here it is you can see extrusion is 20 we can make it 20 so click ok we do the same here select this make a sketch click on normal tool we we'll go to circle right click select and the diameter of the circle is is 80 and we will select this circle hold control and select this circle and make it concentric and we'll do the convert entities here as well we will select this circle and we'll go to the convert entities and it brings the circle here and the extrusion here is 15 features click on extrude it is 15 as you can see the figure here the extrusion is 15 15 click OK now we got the joints and we have to draw these holes here we are going to draw these holes by not using the extrude cut command but we'll use the hole wizard so as you can see these holes are different here so what we'll do is first we have to make a point where we want to make a hole so let's we'll select this surface and go to sketch click on sketch here click on normal tool and we will draw a point we'll uh, draw a point by clicking the point command here and make the point here press escape and select the point hold control and select the origin here provide a vertical relation and the distance from the center of this circle is is uh, about uh, it's uh, 60 I think not 60 30 uh, select it and make it 3-0 and the point goes black it says fully defined get out of this sketch and we will go to features hole wizard click on hole wizard the type of hole we are looking at here is the counter bowl here you can see in the picture the counter bowl hole this type of hole is called counter bowl so select the counter bowl select the ISO and don't just make it uh, M5 you don't actually have to do anything with it and click on this comes custom uh, show custom sizing 
as you click on the show custom sizing we get to provide the diameter by ourselves and everything we can provide it so here you can see the outer circle the bigger circle has a diameter of, of 14 and the inner circle has a diameter of 8 so here you can see the outer circle here is the outer circle here you can see this is the outer circle the diameter is 14 inner circle it is 8 and the depth of this uh, this bigger circle is is 8 here you can see is 8 as well this depth so what we'll do is we'll select it and we'll go to we'll go downwards and it says through all we just need up to next and it says where we want the hole we go to positions and we click on 3d sketch and we will use this point we'll click this point here and it brings a hole here you click ok there you go we'll hide the plane here select this thing right click here and make it hide and by using a circular I mean a circular pattern will uh, make four holes. We'll go to circular pattern, and it says the circular axis. We'll select this circle as the circular axis, and number of holes is four. And it says what features. We will select this thing. As you can see, it brings four circle around this circle. So click OK. There you can see it brings four holes. We will do the same here. Select this side, uh, make a sketch, click on normal tool, and using central line, we'll draw a line here. I show you why. Just press escape. Select this line, hold control. I mean select the uh, the, the point here. Select the point, hold control, and click on this circle. Make it concentric. And using this thing, we will draw the point. Click here. Press escape. And the distance here is, is 30. 30. Enter. And we'll provide a vertical relation as well. Select the point here, hold control, and select this one, make it vertical. It goes black, says fully defined, get out of this sketch. And we'll go to the whole wizard, everything same, select this counter bore, ISO, whatever, we don't need it. Select this one, M5. So check this one, and you will get the same dimension here and we go to we go to positions 3d sketch and we select this point here and it says it is going all the way through we don't want it all the way through we want it uh, up to the next it will create problem when we will revolve it i mean we'll use a circular a circular pattern so so we will just make it up to next in the first place we we'll make it up to next as you can see up to next here is shown and we click OK it makes a hole we'll hide it right click on the sketch number seven click on hide and we will go to the circular pattern and it's it will ask us to select the circle we'll select we can select the inner circle or we can select the outer circle because it has the same center so let's select the inner, inner circle. The number of quantities four equal spacing has to be checked, and features here has to be this one, this hole. It brings four holes, and we click OK. It brings four holes. We press the escape, uh, not escape, space bar. It brings the orientation, and we click on this isometric. There you go. Looks exactly the same. So this is how you draw a, a pipe. And guys, uh, subscribe because there are more tutorials coming on the way. And like the video if you really liked it. And see you in the next tutorial. And keep practicing, guys.
see you in the next tutorial.